Hi, my name is Michael from BMEX. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to automatically calibrate this Foundation Fieldbus multi channel temperature transmitter. On the MC6, we are going to use very accurate measurements of RTD here. We're going to use those four ports there. You can alternatively use the one port with the Lima plug up here as well if you wanted to. And MC6 has got also built in Foundation Fieldbus communicator. We're going to use that later. Also, you can see here there is a USB connectivity between the MC6 and the FB150 temperature block. This temperature block is ranged between minus 25 and 150 degrees Celsius or minus 13 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also see here we've got Foundation Fieldbus multi-channel temperature transmitter. It has got eight channels PT100 RTD connected already. We are going to use those channels and we're going to put them inside the FB150 temperature block. You can see also here we've got a uh, high accuracy reference probe. That reference probe will be connected to the MC6, to those four places here. Also you can see we've got the insert which is going to go into FB150. Those eight channels are going to go into there. Also the reference probe is going to go into there as well. We're ready to go. As you can see right now we just finished connecting everything up. You can see there are eight channels inside the FB150 right now. You can see that the reference probe is also put inside the FB150, it's connected directly to the MC6 calibrator. Uh, you can also see that those channels go directly into the multi-channel foundation field bus. Um, you can see the test leads here as well that are connected to the MC6. This will allow powering up transmitter, also the foundation field bus communication. Um, you can also see the USB and um, the FB communication. This is via this serial port to USB converter. So uh, we're going to use that as well. Right now we're ready to power up the FB and the MC6. And we're ready to start the calibration. In order to do a documenting and automatic calibration of this multi-channel foundation field bus temperature transmitter, all we need to do is go to documenting calibrator. As you can see, we've got eight pre-programmed channels here, eight pre-programmed instruments. So let's go ahead and create a group. So what I'm going to do right now is add each of them individually to the group. So right now we've just hit the group button. You can see we've got eight channels there in the group. They obviously represent those eight channels PT100 that are directly connected here to the foundation field bus. Um, let us just talk quickly about what we can see here on the screen. You can see we're going to do three point calibration. We're going to do zero to 100 Celsius degrees. Uh, it's obviously PT100. You can see that this is going to be the top corner. The top um, diagram is the reference pro connected directly to the MC6. So you can see that the bottom one is the foundation field bus communication between this and the MC6. So ready to go. As soon as I hit the start button the FB150 temperature block is going to go down to zero. The first set point is going to make some noise. I'll try to explain also very quickly what windows can we actually see here. The one here on the top left is this reference probe connected directly to here. Top right is the foundation field bus first channel. So that's a process variable that we can see directly from there. Also, you can see the graph. These are the error graphic and the error limits are those blue lines. We're going to see the graph emerging as we progress with the calibration. Also, you can see we're doing the first channel out of eight. As soon as the temperature is stable, the M6 is going to accept that point and move on to this second channel on the first set point. Okay, the uh, FB150 just signaled right now that it's stable temperature. What's going to happen right now, the M6 is going to wait until that's settled and then it starts counting down. As you can see right now, it's ready to accept the first point on the first channel. As soon as that happens, it jumps onto the second channel of the foundation field bus, establishing the connection, and it's going to accept that point and move on to the third channel. Okay, as you can see right now, the second channel on the first set point it's right now active, you can see the countdown has started, so it's going to accept that and move on to the third one. Okay, we just stabilized the temperature on the third 
channel. Still, we're still on the first set point. The same right now is going to happen. M6 is going to accept that point, move on to the next channel. The same thing is going to happen four times more until we reach eight channels on the first set point. Okay, we are right now going through the first set point on the eighth channel. So what's going to happen now? M6 is going to accept that one. It's going to go and go back to the first channel to move on the second set point, which is 50 degrees. As you can see right now, we are on the first channel. The second set point is 50 degrees. The FB150 is going to heat up right now to that temperature. Whenever that temperature is stable, the M6 is going to accept it and move on to the second channel at the second set point. Okay, FB150 just signal now that stabilizing the temperature on the second point on the first channel. As you can see, the timing is going to go down. The M6 is going to accept the first channel on the second set point and is going to move on to the second channel on the same set point. Okay, we are on the second channel, second set point right now. We are 50 degrees. The M6 is accepting that point and move on to the third channel at the second set point, which is also 50 degrees. The same process is going to be repeated six more times until we get to the last channel within that set point and then we are going to go back to the first channel on the last set point which is going to be 100 degrees. We are just completing the eighth channel on the second set point so as soon as that's accepted by the M6 it's going to go to the first channel on the last set point which is 100 degrees. Okay, we're right now waiting for the FB150 temperature block to go to the third set point, which is 100 degrees. So as you can see right now, we're on the first channel right now. The last set point is just set here, so we're waiting for hot block to go up to 100 degrees now. Okay, we have just reached a, the third set point on the first channel, so it's 100 degrees on the first channel. M6 is going to accept that point, move on to the second channel on the third set point, which is 100 degrees. M6 is ready to accept the last set point on the second channel. What's going to happen now? It's going to move on to the third channel on the same set point. The same process is going to be repeated for six remaining channels. So we're going to stay at 100 degrees right now and move on to third, fourth, and so on and so forth. The M6 is about to accept the last point on the last channel, so the calibration is completed. We've just got a pass dialog uh, here, you can see, you've got the errors there, you've got four screen on the first channel, so let's go through it, what we can see on that screen. You can obviously use, choose your users, you can make notes here, you can also see the graph, and you can also see the numbers behind the graph. So at this stage we can save the calibration results for the first channel, we're going to save them as found. And right now we've got the results for the second channel. So let's do the same, let's go through the results. You've got username and notes again, you've got the graph, you've got the numbers behind the graph. So right now you can go and save the calibration results for the second channel. The same is going to be repeated for additional four, five, six and seven and eighth channels. Okay, we are just about to save our last channel. We have just saved the eight channels results into the memory of the MC6. So the calibration is right now completed. Uh, what we actually have done today is we calibrated this multi-channel foundation field bus temperature transmitter using the BMEX FB150 temperature block and the BMEX MC6 calibrator. It was a fully automated process. All we had to do is set some instruments prior to calibration and then just hit start and the process was happening and connection was happening between those two units. All results are right now saved into the memory of the MC6. We could leave them there or we can transfer them onto CMX calibration management software. The whole calibration process took about one hour. We've calibrated eight channels on three set points Obviously, depending on how many channels and how many set points you're going to calibrate, this time of calibration could vary. Our process was fully automated process without us interfering with anything. Thank you for watching and for more information, please see our other videos.